Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Lil Z. Woo! I'm first this week. Uh, go me. <laughs> Aren't you first everyone? No. Pop it one. Hello, I'm Jordan, and I do believe in vitamins. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson here, also fellow vitamin believer. It's the Vitamin Podcast. Welcome aboard. And special guest. Oh, hello, it is me. I am Jim from a different country. Do we not? An ambiguous country. Ah, uh, just kidding, guys. It was Zach. It's just a, oh, my God. Um, just what? a little joke for our audio listeners. They thought someone else was here, but it was just me. Jim from yeah. another country. I said from an ambiguous country, so I didn't get called out for a racist accent. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> Good for you, Jim. I love how you actually did a first comment in real life just then. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first ever first comment I've seen at like... Yeah, true. I said, it's me and yeah, Peter isn't here today. That's why I'm usually not first. Usually Peter's first because he always talks for too long, cuts off my intro. Bastard. <sighs> yeah, Peter is sick. Rest and we peace. were just remembering how, I think he said it on a podcast yeah. as well. Peter doesn't I think believe. he says it all the time. Yeah, Peter doesn't believe in vitamins. It's like, oh, hey guys, Where by is the he way, now? hey vitamins. Anyway, what are we doing today? <laughs> like every time I see him, <laughs> Jesus. Vitamin B, more like vitamin bullshit. I don't. That's what he says. <laughs> <laughs> he always says that. We can, um, anything we say, he can't defend himself. Um, vitamins. Yeah. Why doesn't he believe in them? Where I can't really remember. He just said you you can eat food and then there's enough because no, people are supposed to eat food. That's true. That that is actually true. But you have to eat well to do that. Yeah. All right. See, I don't know about <laughs> not believing in vitamins. I get that they're like that. You don't really need vitamins to not make you sick, but you should eat dirt. Because that's got a lot of shit in it, and your body will be like, "Woo, that probably has the most for this shit." Does it? Should on this no, podcast we should just talk in completely unverified science facts? <laughs> yeah, I think we already <laughs> do. Have the opportunity, <laughs> no, because Peter's not here to defend science. Oh, oh of course. brilliant! How lo- How do the letters he did go, it, everyone? Where do they stop? Where do what? The letters. Where do they stop? Z. Does no, for, for vitamins. That's, oh, a, for good, vitamins? that's a good yeah. question. There's vitamin A. There's like twelve B. vitamin B. The Bs. first four are huge. There's A, C, C and D. D. Yeah, where's vitamin D. E? <laughs> Does vitamin E exist? Yeah, vitamin E exists. Does it? What's it for? I think I took a pill yeah, of that bit once. Of bit of this, bit of that. Let's we, look it up, vitamin E. I'm pretty sure there is a vitamin E. We definitely e. don't get enough vitamins from our food, right? Uh, I think you do if you eat like proper food. But, but if you're eating, how like, did people eat proper before they were chefs? Broccoli. No, I just coals. mean like you're eating like a lot of vegetable and... You know how, like, now we eat a lot of processed foods and stuff like Maybe that? Maybe we shouldn't talk about science stuff on this <laughs> podcast. No, I think we should. We should just really dial it in. Right, vitamin E vitamin exists. E. It's, oh, uh, there must be more vitamins in the raw food. We must cook it out of it. Yeah, vitamin that's actually e. true. Mm. Wow, Jordan's, Jordan's a genius. Because it should have been easy <laughs> back in the day to have enough vitamins because yeah. you just have to find it, eat it real quick. Yeah. yeah, boiled broccoli has way less vitamins than raw. That's why I always eat it raw. Is that oh. true? Not the me eating it raw part, but the <laughs> but that fact is boiled, true. boiled veggies have less vitamins. The vitamins are in the water. That's why I always drink the vegetable water. That's also not true. <laughs> it is not. With, I'm the just oven, <laughs> with the oven, you like have a compartment where all the steam goes into and yeah, you Yeah, so what it. about frying them or something? Does that lose it then? Uh, yeah, probably. Okay. So you're not supposed you to cook think, the no, no, no probably's. On this podcast, it's <laughs> okay. definitely. Raw veggies only. Yeah. Is that the same with meat? Is it less? Yep. Why do we cook anything? Yeah, don't cook it. Because okay. it tastes better. Yeah, but that's not worth it, clearly. I you can't can eat wait less. to see you get salmonella next week and be like, oh, do I need to eat some more vitamins? I'll survive the salmonella. <laughs> I'll, vitamin D I'll be or some vitamin shit. up, yeah, of course. Yeah, so it's pretty unfortunate Peter's not here today because we're about to film a tennis video. That's yes. why we're all tennis stuff. Which it, some of you can see from our tire. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Jackson's actually in the car. Yeah, it actually is. No, for, our not audio, for our audio <laughs> listeners, Jackson is wearing a 100% perfect recreation of Roger Federer's uh, <laughs> outfit there. Wow. Down to a T with the that's hat. In, that's incredible. Yeah, thank you. I no, not a T. That's that. golf. Oh, very well done. <laughs> thank you. He's sharp this morning. We're a bit more sharp at 9 a.m. Have it's you noticed? It's very early, yeah. It's very Usually early. we've recorded like three gaming videos and yep. we've already fell off the wagon. Yeah. True. It is a big difference. I wonder <laughs> Wait, if they can tell the vibe. that's not good advertising. No, every week we come only for the podcast <laughs> and we make sure it's perfect. We make unrivaled people- audio entertainment every week. Do you reckon people can tell the difference in the vibe? Do you have the chat? 
Let's Can have you look. tell the difference in the vibe? Let's have a look if you tell the difference in the vibe. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to join thing. the chat, make sure to head over to patreon.com slash underdogs Oh, cheeky. Very cheeky. Because we are streaming this live. Which Did, there is a chat, which I'm going to get up. Did maybe. you guys see the, the, the video of the guy in NASCAR? Mm. Oh my God, uh, yeah. yes. No? And okay, so he did this thing that apparently he's never done before, where instead of slowing down to turn, he accelerated oh, into, the into the wall and flew around everyone. Amazing. And he said he learned it because he had played on the GameCube when he was a kid and yep. you can do that. Yeah. And so he was like, I'll just try it and it just worked. Didn't he say he wasn't sure if it was going to work or yeah. something? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you couldn't really be sure. <laughs> you wouldn't want to be doing that in practice, no, like smashing no. up a car every single time. So it kind of reminded me of, you know, in cars when he just turns the other way and everything's yeah, fine. For some I remember reason. that still. Yeah, that's what it reminded me now, of. Is that not based on real drifting? I've no idea. It must I be. I feel like it has to it be. It has to be. Who makes a movie Cars and then they're like, let's just throw in some cheeky bullshit <laughs> about drifting. I feel like there's a lot of cheeky bullshit in Disney movies, particularly... That's animated True, ones. True, yeah. But we're not here to solve science today. <laughs> we're here to talk about whatever we want. And the, th the crazy thing about this guy doing the NASCAR GameCube move, he got like five places he moved up. Yeah, it was like an it. incredible... It looked very Everyone else was skill. like inside lane going slow and he was like... Meow. Yeah, I saw a perspective from someone else and it's like they have their heads on they're like the fuck is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a movie where it's like, what is he doing? And he just accelerates into the wall. Don't worry, Jim, look, that won't work. <laughs> you look out the window. Oh. Do you reckon everyone's going to start doing it now? Um, that would be so weird, right? See, that's what I was actually talking to Peter about this the other day. Uh, oh, shame, really? shame he couldn't be here. <laughs> I believe he said uh, something like he was going to become a NASCAR driver and try it, but we'll never get that verified. Do you think <laughs> um, they are athletes? Yeah. Drivers? Um, I don't know. I don't know what oh, athlete is Oh, come on, boys. Yeah. I feel like we've had this you conversation You can't call before. them athletes. You can't call professional smash players athletes. Yeah, that's what we're saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think Jordan does. I think they're all athletes. That's just my opinion. Well, I was kind of thinking, like, could is this going to get banned? Because I would start putting wheels on the right side of my car and just, like, <laughs> zoom yeah, around the every time. Yeah. Like the Mario Kart 8 courses where you go on the side. Yeah. But you just drive with, like, Cars wheels. should just be all wheels. <laughs> <laughs> that would be able to do a lot more. That's the best idea I've heard all week. Imagine you could go up mountains. If you fall, it's fine. You keep, you'd start just driving wheels. down. Yeah. You like um, General Grievous' little vehicle in uh, Star Wars. It's all, all a wheel and oh, he's yeah. inside the wheel. That would be genius. Oh, Why does that can't go sideways? Yet? No, you just go. Mm, like this. I feel like no one's <laughs> no one's making the big ideas like that. Yeah, there's like probably, a car um, that can go any direction at any time. There's probably restrictions on what you're actually allowed to do. That's what Peter would say. <laughs> yeah. But what do we say? <laughs> Put six wheels on the car. Can your Tesla go sideways? <laughs> <laughs> I swear, there's yeah, a car that goes sideways. Yeah, it's not mine. Oh, haven't you mean I, like where the wheels turn yeah, sideways? I thought and it's that like, was a Tesla. Does a parallel park by haven't just you, moving like, parallel? There's cars where the wheels just completely like you need a parallel park. You pull up alongside. The wheel turns completely sideways. Oh, it's like 90 degrees. Yeah, and you just drive in. So I'm the wheels sure are this is a Bond, a James Bond vehicle. No, I swear it's an actual thing. I thought Tesla's did it. Yeah, also the car that turns into a boat when you drive it into the ocean. Yeah, that one's cool. Can Submarine all four-wheel drive car. cars do that? Yep. Yep, oh, every wow. single one. It's crazy. That's good. <laughs> that's why they call it four-wheel drives. Yeah, yeah they that's have so a second all the wheels set turn of horizontal and they, wheels. Yeah. We'll go left. All right, depending on whether exactly the car park is. Oh, it's good to have you here, Jordan. <laughs> well, I was going to say, do you guys have you learned anything from video games like that? Like, um, I learned the word miscellaneous from Sims. Does that count? <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, was I that think. for a hack? Huh? No, just because that's one of the that's categories one of, the of, uh, category, yeah. of things. Of what's it called furniture is miscellaneous. What was what was the thing? Oh. Money load. Mother load. Mother load. That was, that was my Sims experience. Oh, I used to get pissed off at my sisters for doing that. For cheating? Yeah. yeah I remember you telling me about I this. I yeah. I've <laughs> ever played The Sims where you like get a... Oh, who wants to get a nine to five job in The Sims? What's the whole point? It's the grind. No. <laughs> what are you going to do? You just sit there and then they just what? What do they do? What would you, you do? You make you like make them a sick house, make them fuck each other, make a pool with no ladder to yeah, get out and drown them. How long is that fun them? for? I don't know. Oh, I did do he that once. He a lot of Sims. I made like a Not ten enough. person house, and then just whoever lasted the longest, like Survivor. Yeah, Survivor. Few ovens, no, no. Yes. Um, fire Whereas alarms. Barbe like outdoor barbecues inside yeah. on the carpet, three beds, ten people, babies on the floor. No, I didn't do that. Maybe next. Time. I learned all my dirty talk from Sims. Give us some. That actually doesn't sound like Sims talk, does it? 
No, well, Simlish is uh, uh, kind yeah. of crazy how good it is. They change it for each language yeah. as well. It's insane. What? Yeah. Have you it seen, actually it sounds, sounds kind like, of English. Sounds like English, but it, they're talking gibberish. Yeah. Have you seen those videos of people saying, this is what English sounds like if you don't know English? Oh, yeah. I yeah. think Simlish would be indistinguishable. Shubanuba <laughs> Dubai. Yeah. <laughs> Just like, it actually, like, you can say what it sounds like. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. And then when the singers come in and do the songs, you seen the video of Katy Perry singing her songs in Simlish? No. So <laughs> Wait, funny. she actually sings Yeah, it? she sings it in Simlish. I think it's Katy Perry. <laughs> I haven't seen One that. of these artists. What's so interesting. What's something you could get from The Sims and then, like this NASCAR guy, yeah. you like do it in real life and then be like, oh, I just didn't know if that would work. Just taking just the ladders off the pool. The Sims. <laughs> 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 Holy shit, I can kill my mum. <laughs> <laughs> well, The Sims is actually realistic, isn't it? Uh, so yeah. what, about other, what about other sporting games? FIFA. What What could you learn from FIFA, Jordan? I don't Never. know. I don't know. Yeah, I I, I, it's pretty crazy that the physics were good enough in the game to re like represent real life. I know he's like a little Einstein without needing to do it in his head. I love that he just went. What am I going to do here? Oh, I know. NASCAR game. <laughs> NASCAR. <laughs> <laughs> what do drivers think? One of them ones in uh, Super Mario Strikers could work. Go Except on. I feel like oh, it would be illegal. You know how up. they come out with the special one? Oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking Donkey Kong will like put the soccer ball in a coconut gun and shoot it into the goal. The referee's like, no, 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 <laughs> hang, hang on, on, hang on. Red, that's yeah, not allowed. The referees seem to be hiding in the stands when they bring out those super kicks. <laughs> now you mentioned, I don't think I saw a referee once in that game, which <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Just, why are you shooting the ball into the goals? Why not shoot the opposition? <laughs> they don't show that at the start, but every before the match, they execute the referee yeah. before every match. It's and smart. So Mario's they get you referee for every match and then execute it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't be, want to be hired for that job. Everyone's saying the energy is different. Ooh. Did they say better? No, they're just different. <laughs> energy <laughs> is different. And someone said, woo. Peter's <laughs> not here. Energy is very Very better. different. Yeah. No, no, no. Very better. Very better. <laughs> He's not here to correct you. Oh, I was having this conversation the other day. Do you think uh, being a professional athlete is more about hard work or natural talent? More about hard natural work. talent because I haven't done it and I've worked yeah. really hard yeah. at, <laughs> at being a professional. <laughs> I've played like six different sports. I'm not a professional in any of them. Do you think if you'd put in 10,000 hours into one of them, you would have been a professional? Well, that's a good question. Which sport do you think I would be best at if I like? Well, I've only ever played volleyball with you. Yeah, I think most sports I play except for tennis require oh, tennis and golf because yeah. they're the only one that's ones that don't require like. Athleticism. Oh, sure. <laughs> or like as as much. Yeah, Sorry, yeah, yeah, that yeah. sounded very. Probably just stick to golf then. That doesn't require being in. So, if you think if you'd put ten thousand hours into golf, you would be a professional. Uh, yeah, okay. I do. Jordan, it's all geometry in that. Well, because because <laughs> for example, I've played I don't think 10, soccer, and soccer and How cricket. 10, I feel like you need more natural like power to be a cricket batter or like Could running. You go to the gym or something. You can go, right? get strength. Yeah, but no. Nah. <laughs> I know <laughs> myself. Definitely hard work. I think the only time that would switch would be like, you're the best in the world at it. And then, then you have to have I think you need skill. talent as well. So every athlete's put in insane amount of work. Because it gets to a point where surely the top 10 people in the world are going balls to the walls. This, this is what... The whole thing that started this conversation was talking about Shane Warne, how he was a freak because he just didn't really care and would just eat meat pies drink beer and was still like one of the best ever it's just well, it was just a bowler right yeah that's technique it's not so like technique. so the meat pies and the beer is affecting his physique but is that going to affect bowling like, his wouldn't technique be as for spinning yeah sure spinning Based the ball if you for those that don't know shane warne is a very famous australian cricketer famous for spin bowling spin bowling how do you describe spin bowling Did to someone die? that's never seen it Did he, die? he died like last year yeah what did you not know that no. Yeah, he died. Too many. How? He was in Thailand. I think he had a heart attack on holidays. What the fuck? Or a cardiac arrest or something like that. Jesus. That's I didn't know that. Did you have a bit of a moment here? I've already yeah. had my yeah, moment. Yeah, that's pretty fucked. That's, that's wild. It was pretty sad. Um, so spin bowling. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Is in two sentences, what is spin bowling? I feel like I need to explain cricket first. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> cricket, you throw a ball down a pitch. Yeah. Spin bowling instead of throw instead of bowling it fast, you put some spin on it and try it and trick it. You can probably side. do that in yeah. baseball. Just imagine someone who's like, really good at baseball. Yeah, instead of fast pitching, you're like curve bowling. Yeah. For example. Yeah, that's that's a very good comparison. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. That's what Shane Warne did. Anyway, that's what sort of started this whole thing of him being, you know, in like that. Like Jordan's sense. never getting 
to the best basketball player in the world. But Sorry to burst your bubble. That's what I, I agree, but I feel like you could be professional. Do no, you think you could have played? There's no way you could ever make it on the NBA, even if you played basketball coming out the womb. You're, You're too crazy. short. Dude, who's, the short, who's the shortest NBA player? Five I, foot three is like one really? of the shortest guys. Okay, well, you know, <laughs> really? you know more than me. <laughs> I, thought, I thought the, the shortest day. would be at least like six foot two. No, there's always a point guard who's like short. Are they still tall? I feel like I'm out of my depth here because I don't know what a point guard Just really is. Just talk with confidence. Now, <laughs> you gotta yeah, have some, Peter's not here. You've got to have someone on the team who's the dribbler, passer. The playmaker. Because if you're small, you're better at dribbling because it's harder to steal it from you. Because you're lower to the floor. Exactly. All right, so, I'm convinced this guy paid his way on. I'm going to Google the second shortest NBA player because you're right, Jordan. It's five foot three. Second was shortest. Was it Monty Bokes? I reckon I was right. Five foot three. Uh, it was. He could dunk as this, well. The second shortest is no. 1.65 meters. Oh, fuck this. Yeah. <laughs> Put the photo away. Being a professional is so different to being the top yeah, yeah, person. Yeah. So you think you could have played NBL? Yeah. If you'd put in, if your life was just basketball, basketball, yeah. basketball. Yeah. I think so. I think so too. Yeah. You are very dedicated, though. Yeah, but like you, you're, you're whole, dedicated we're to saying learning. You're like, you, we're saying you're dedicated. But you can think do of it. how many hours I played and tried to improve at Smash. I reckon mm. it would have been equal to the amount you did, but I have a very, I'm like really lazy with learning, whereas you're really like, okay, let's find out, let's study the VODs, let's get better at the game, yeah, yeah, let's yeah. like, I need to improve this, I need to improve this. And yeah. I was just like, let's play with my friends and hope I get better. Yeah, but that's different. I think we're saying so this your is goal trying. is to be... Sorry, yeah, 10,000 hours doesn't mean literally just playing basketball with your friends. I mean, like, you're yeah. actually like practicing shooting, practicing... But I think some anyone people if, don't like that. You got to... 100%. 100%. Oh, yeah. But, but I think, yeah, wait, we all, I think we're all saying the same yeah, thing, actually. Think, <laughs> well, that's kind of what you're doing now with your videos. You're doing different like games. The le- you're like really focusing on a certain game for a certain amount of time. I watched your Melee video that came yeah, out. Yeah, thank you. That Melee was, was kind of your Mewtwo actually. King involved. Yeah, the, the champ. The champ. The champ himself. Was he, how was he? What was he like? <laughs> oh, he was good. Really? <laughs> Did you watch the video? No, I haven't seen it yet. But you said he, he actually was, is he's in it? the thumbnail, so that's no, crazy. Oh, no, no, he actually he came into my stream. He really? Gave me, yeah. He what, did he, what was the tips he gave? He said, grab more. <laughs> Professionals, man, I hate them. Professional uh, Smash players are just like, just shield. You it know, works. Like, you suck. <laughs> do, you, do you think you're going to keep playing Melee? No. See, are is this done? what happens? You like, you're like you going to learn these games or skills and then you're going to just drop them? Yeah, I'm not going to keep up like 20 games at the same time. Oh, I would well, die. Me- Melee's a bit aligned with Smash. Might yeah, but be if I do that, time. I'm not going to have time to do the next game. What's next? Overwatch. Overwatch. Really? Overwatch. Well, that's what you've yeah. been playing with, Peter. Yes. R.I.P. Peter. Didn't have his vitamins. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't be here today. I no. bet he's just faking being sick to play that fucking Overwatch. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> like yeah, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet right now. Early. <laughs> <laughs> you guys really excited for Scarlet and Violet? I'm very, very excited. Are. Comes I'm out not tomorrow. You're not excited? No, I haven't even thought about it. Yeah, he's not a Pokemon, Loser. not a Pokemon guy. Where's your video where you get good at competitive Pokemon? I could do that as well. That's what yeah, I suggested. Get Wolfie too. involved. I think that'll be good. There's lots of games coming out. It's December. I think yeah. we're gonna do FIFA next. Oh yeah, that'd FIFA's fun. a good one. I don't know about this team stuff. Overwatch is a bit suspicious. Oh, because you play in teams, yeah. it's like League of Legends and whatever. Yeah, I've re- I've realised that after leaving, what was the last team thing I did? Basketball. Classic. Yeah. <laughs> Going to Smash Bros. Like oh. Like being in control of everything. Yeah, it's these handy. team games, particularly these online ones, can be infuriating. In Overwatch, you just got to remember that you're probably the problem. Okay. Yes. So, I was watching your stream, Jordan. You were the problem. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> no, no, no. But I used to play Overwatch a lot and I would get quite salty, like usually queuing with Peter. And then like it's like, <laughs> oh, we've got like six shit teams in a row. And then it's like... Reflecting, it's like I was having I team. was having a bad day. Yeah, <laughs> like I was not playing well that day, and I was like, "Oh my god, these fucking teammates!" <laughs> nah, I feel like I'm lucky. Yeah, I feel like it could be more fun if like you have the, the whole team every time. But it's like like you're playing in the same team every yeah, time. Yeah, I feel like that could be yeah, fun. that'd be awesome. But just joining random teams, it's like, oh man, I'm not in control of so many variables. Well, here. if me and Jackson and two others join, we no one other joins, we got a full Overwatch team. Do a team of five. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna You're be not terrible. Gonna do I've that. not played. <laughs> yeah, I haven't played one mouse shooter in my life. Yeah. What do they call them? FPS. FPS. No, I've played FPS games on the on controller. the controller. Yeah, Fortnite was my first big one. Yeah. It was very. Different. Is it fun? Yeah, Fortnite is freaking. Uh, I can't be bothered learning a new game. Yeah, just I play pro- chess. 
classic. It's interesting in team games because like 50% of the time you're in the bottom half of the team, but you always yeah. feel like you're like the best or second best player on the team. Oh, you're I like, do I'm, not. I'm Gary. <laughs> I oh, really? <laughs> no, Maybe I it's suck. a different mindset. <laughs> yeah. My ego is leaking out my fucking ears and you're like, I'm just going to have fun and learn Overwatch. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah, not that good at it yet. That's probably why you get good at games quickly, though. That admission, and then like oh, you are striving yeah, I to talked get about better. that in my Street Fighter video. Gotta yeah, be I like a baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. hundred percent. Babies gotta, can walk. Yep. I feel like I would admit <laughs> to being bad at a game if the idea was to put that on the left side of a thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, Jordan's true. like day one placed one hundredth, yeah. and it's like ah, oh, gotta be shit. Better for the video. It, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Gotta be bad to put it in that thumbnail. Cheeky. Someone's saying you're gonna do speed running next, or at some point. Does that interest you? That. Maybe, but I feel like that's the least interesting. I, I feel find like that that's too very involved. No, I feel like it's very uh I don't know. Not as uh, mental almost. It's I would very, say it's very like time intensive too. Yeah. That's my issue with speedrunning. Like to improve once, you gotta do like an entire I mean, it's forty minute run seems long, but there's also like twenty hour runs. Yeah. There's also oh, like that's my issue with friggin' Overwatch. You have to play fifty games before you could even unlock competitive. 50 get that makes you have to sense, win 50 it? games yeah, that's because no one wants a fucking shitter oh that's but just, just put him in the bottom YouTube. rank put him in the bottom rank straight fighting goes straight into it no nah, i like i like playing the games where there's not a time commitment yeah first what's been there's your favorite grind one so far a, melee melee was very and good. then i haven't done too many really what have you done street uh, street fighter and fortnite um i probably like fortnite more than street fighter fortnite than street fighter is there a reason um Probably, I forgot it. It's more fun. <laughs> yeah, Fortnite, I guess Fortnite's so. got to be a better game. Fortnite is very speed, well like made. The player base. Oh, yeah, sure. Fortnite's it's just got to yeah. be more fun. If Street Fighter was that fun, then everyone would play Street Fighter. That's true, yeah. Well, Street Fighter well. costs money and a few things like that, right? True. And the skill floor is kind of a problem. Yeah, Fortnite doesn't have as much of a skill floor. I think that's probably the biggest. But thing. it has a probably equally high skill ceiling. Yeah. Anyway, should we move on? Do you reckon, a lot of just real quick, do you reckon ever, anyone's ever beaten someone up and stolen their copy of Street Fighter on the street? <laughs> street, street fighting fighter to get Street, street fighter. fighter. Surely one I reckon person. it's happened yeah, once. Like it has to have. Someone's come out of a GameStop and then someone that really just can't afford the game is like, oh, I want Street Fighter. So they bash the person it's, that came out of GameStop. But would they lose because they weren't as good since they haven't played? But the other guy hasn't played, he just bought it. Yeah. No, but he might know more. He might have played the last one. Nah, it was just a joke. It was just a joke. <laughs> he, he, he lost Sorry, I peed you. <laughs> lost the battle on the street because he's like, oh, I've only played Street Fighter 2. <laughs> oh, he's only played 4. He used a focus attack on me. That wasn't in my game. Do you think you'd be better at fighting after playing Street Fighter? Like real life fighting? Um, Probably 0.5%, yeah. Yeah, okay. Surely more than nothing. Yeah, I would figure some of the concepts carry over. Yeah. I, I reckon I'd <laughs> Smash has made me worst. I'd be like, <laughs> oh, Mario Ape is really good. I try to do a backflip kick and just fall on my head. <laughs> You're getting beaten up. You're like, this game's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking cutscene combo. Fucking get me out. Lame, lame. <laughs> All you do is swing at me, lame. <laughs> you can't even kill me, fucking sheep, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking mashing on me. It's just getting kicked while I'm like in the fetal position. Stop mashing. <laughs> oh, that's moly. the thing with real life. You can't mash as much. Have you ever watched UFC? You get tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get rid of that problem. UFC is crazy. You love UFC. I do. It's for noobs. It's not true. <laughs> it's for noobs. <laughs> I, I fall back on saying that a lot. It's for it's noobs. It's for noobs. If something I don't like or I don't watch, it's for noobs. <laughs> what if it's like food? Noobs. You're like, no, I'm not a really fan of almonds. The noobs. noobs. The for noobs. They are for noobs, almonds. Can you see my eyes twitching? I don't know why. Wait, ready? Audio listeners, this won't be great. All right, Jordan's eye has That's not, not twitched. <laughs> I for, do, you ever, do, you, do you ever get that like when your eyelid twitches? Audio experience. <laughs> Is my eye twitching, guys? <laughs> my eyelid's twitching, I think. Mine yeah. does that sometimes. Did you see that? It no, did it. I haven't seen it. It's I can't really see it. Did you right. see it? Uh, no. Okay, well, I'll try and ignore it. Um, I do have a new one to talk about. Uh, yeah, my on. video that went up last night. Don't know if you that's guys really saw interesting. It. But can we just back to the eye twitch? <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't done it. It's doing it. It uh, did it just then. All right, sorry, go on. Can no one see? Hold on, I'm. I'm it did a little... it. It did it. I'm invested. Man. Oh man. All right. All right. Now my eyes are watering because I'm trying to keep them open too Speaking long. Speaking of Twitch, you guys should go over and subscribe <laughs> to Pop One on, on YouTube now. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> Shit. Oh, um, who cares? If oh. you become a member, Jordan will remember to make his eye twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. What were you going to say? Well, Twitch was the better pun, but you, yeah, made, yeah, you yeah. said but it was. No, nah, move on, move on. What were you talking about? Uh, the video I did, the Nuzlocke with Maddie. 
It's finally oh, wait, come did out come on out? the channel. Yeah, when? last night. Oh, oh, I haven't seen it. I actually do want to watch that. Because it's like uh, trying to <laughs> How long did that take you the, to make? Dig into the Pokemon hype a little bit. Very long time, but it is a... It's going well. It's a banger. It's a 9 out of 10 instead of a 10 out of 10. Ooh, so, that's ooh. good for a bit of a different video. It is. Very nice. Uh, the 10 out of 10 is a different Pokemon video. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon sitting at bottom. <laughs> that video we started filming in February. I felt you guys did that like that yeah, so long That's crazy. What's that, nine months? I think it was, yeah, we could have had a baby in that time. Don't tell Maddie. Jeez. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> uh, but I think we in total did five streams. Yeah. Over that <laughs> nine months. So it's been a long drawn out process. It's it not has, like you've been grinding been. the whole time on yeah. it. Yeah. And like each time we had lots of fun and we streamed for like four hours. Yeah. Damn, that's but a big But it was like holidays in between and just like forgetting that it was even going on. Yep. It'd be like a month where I didn't ask Maddie like, oh, you want to stream this? Yeah. yeah. And then, which led to a lot of the funny moments because it would just be like three month break and then Maddie would come back. There's there's one that happens a few times where she's like, to heal. oh, how do I heal my Pokemon again? Yep. She's like scrolls past potion and throws a heal ball. And then that happens twice because in between each one, there was a three Too month much. break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you mention that all in a YouTube video? Or I that? did. Oh, okay. okay. She was print some comedic moments to do the three months later. It was like, all right, time to catch a fire type in diamond. And there's like three months later. So there's no fire types in Pokemon Diamond. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, there's, there's like very two. few. You can get um Chimcha and you can get Magmorta late game. Damn. And you Rapidash? Can catch, you can catch Ponyta, but yeah. Damn, that wasn't is Grass in OP game. in that game then? Oh, it's sort of no fire. That beat Grass. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Someone really. said, here's a review for you, Zach. Zach, I hate Pokemon and I still really like that video. Keep ah, it up. Thank you. Ooh. People like the videos with me and Maddie. I obviously like them as well. Uh, I think the vibe we have is very good. The dynamic. And it's like, yeah, yeah, it's funny having someone that I can like bounce off that is not a gamer at all. Yeah. It's like it's a just good a funny dynamic, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah it good. just leads to naturally funny moments. And then like the fact that we're dating also like, I feel like adds an extra layer to the element yeah. <laughs> of it. It's just something that you would never usually see. Like I, you probably wouldn't do that really if it wasn't from a YouTube video. Like yeah. get to commit to a Nuzlocke. And yeah. like, it's just like, it's just such a weird, couples, a funny thing. Couples doing stuff's great. I used to be subscribed to this people called Jolly Games. Oh. And they just stopped, <laughs> they just stopped uploading. Shut yeah. the fuck up, Cogger. <laughs> hey, hey, I uploaded. You posted the video. Uh, like a month ago. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You got bragging I rights you now on Jolly Games. Games. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully uh, it'll come back. It's uh, what uni happened holidays. It? Busy. Yeah, Busy. Fair enough. Do you think there's anyone, because it is interesting, you were saying you don't see it very much. And... It's probably because I'm not much of a gamer. Yeah. Despite, like, my... Say I'm looking on Tinder or I'm, like, looking for a partner. Uh -huh. In nowhere in my mind is it like, oh, I would like them to play video games. Yeah. Because I don't really do that outside of Smash yeah. and YouTube. Yeah. That's not, like, really what I'm passionate about. So, it, like, wasn't, I guess, a requirement... Yeah, see, I like or playing like, a lot of casual games, but not necessarily gamer games. We that do that, sense. but I feel like that is different. Different, for sure. Well. Different vibe, yeah. yeah. Holly and I don't play games very often. What do you guys do? Every really? now and then. Wait, what, what have we done? So that's know. why Jolly Games has died. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've been watching Bondi Rescue. What? The Actually? The greatest show ever. Yeah, it's good. Did you tell her about how we went and the tower looked underwhelming? No, I didn't actually. You should let her know. Yeah, I should. Bit of a letdown. Bit of a letdown. Yeah. Yeah. Jackson's sweat still staining those benches <laughs> at Bondi Beach. We were there. <laughs> anyone that watched the, the Underdogs Amazing Race video, it, we, it really didn't display how much pain Jackson went through for the, oh, uh, yeah. the gym challenge. I'd like that to got give cut that, down. I'd like to give that another go now that I have been exercising have a lot. You? Oh, yeah. what, what have you been doing, Jackson? Just bought the weight set, bought a bar, been going crazy every Same. day. Not every day, every second day on the protein. Really? Yeah, a bit of push-ups, bit of yoga. I, uh, Snuffles actually said he was buying some weights at a bar and said, you want, do I want to go halves on it? Like, that'd be great. I gave him 50 bucks and he hasn't bought it. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a month or two ago. That's a great hustle. <laughs> yeah, 50 bucks probably doesn't get you much, right? Isn't it expensive? I think like Kmart, you can get some weights. Yeah, no, I, I got a it was $50 weight set that's like barbells. Oh, no. Nice, oh, sorry. Nice. Not a bar. It was just like weights at a bench, which was good. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. That's like a hundred bucks from Kmart. I was like, sounds good. Damn, yeah. Underdogs Gym Video Part Two gonna go, gonna go, gonna go hard. I haven't got the bench yet. That's what I'm getting next. What's the bench? Like Is that the, the thing the you lie down on? on? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Going for Looking it. forward to getting one of those. Absolute fiend. Yeah. I'm sort of, I'm sort of doing a not that until New Year's. New Year's resolution. 
Yeah. Nice. Save it. Uh, more so because I'm also going away for like the entire uh, yeah. month of December and I'm probably going to like mm. not eat the best, not have time to yep. keep to us. Like if I get out of the routine, that's where mm. I, I mean, well, so does it. You know what bodybuilders do? They bulk and then they shred. So you're just going to do your bulk. And then you should yeah. come back, do yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. You'll get stronger that's if it. you're fatter because then you can... Mass moves mass. You're constantly... Well, that's why I could deadlift so much in the gym video Doing because I'm always deadlifting my f- body. <laughs> <in a way. laughs> that sounds weird, but it's actually yeah. true. Like you have you have much stronger legs than like Jackson now. Yeah. My legs are naturally pretty ripped, <laughs> Yeah, honestly. God damn. There mm. you go. I think it's also because I used to like doing legs at the gym when I did go. And like I... You like doing re- what you're good at, still isn't retained it? a bit of that. Everyone likes doing what they're good at. Yeah, have you noticed that? Yeah, true. What's Makes your worst sense. thing at the gym? Legs. Eat. Oh, look at these things. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Snaps off. <laughs> Same with mine. Yeah, <laughs> yours are a bit bulkier than mine. That's saying a lot. <laughs> yeah, it is. You missed your skinny legs. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. I had an idea. Go on. Well, I guess this is my question of the week. Oh my god. I guess Peter's not here. I feel like Peter usually is a good bounce back no, for the question it. of the week. But we uh, got it. I think I've solved the world. Wow. <laughs> This is huge. <laughs> okay, I, I think this might do be we have enough Peter, actually. People, uh, do we have enough people like, here? <laughs> you only got 13 people watching right now. Well, you guys let me know if yeah. you think I'm right. Okay. It could I be right. right I already. told Holly Comment and she said, on the no. YouTube video uh, if Jackson's... Just say, solve the, J- Jordan solved the world or, or the nah. world still sucks. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Holly said it wasn't good. But oh. I reckon it <laughs> great reviews I from reckon. the one other person that's a so, so currently we've got Jordan's brain says yep. yes. One outside source says no and no other. So it's a and that's the 50 right now on saving the it's world. It's also Jordan's brain part two is Holly. So if she's not on board, I don't <laughs> get the idea that we're gonna be on board. <laughs> well like people it's bad, right, with social media, like likes and yeah, you're yeah, like yeah, thinking yeah. about yeah. it. Yeah. What if above everyone's head yeah. there was a funometer? And is that how much fun they are or how much fun they is it like how, the are having? It's like how much actual, like, you know, depression? The opposite of that. That number is above their head. So well, if I they're, didn't want that is know a, that. such a... <laughs> if they're completely... What the fuck? <laughs> so you go out on the street and you're, like, maybe looking to make some new friends yep. and someone's pretty much, their funometer is zero. They're like... I'm depressed. You're like, huh, won't be friends with that guy. No, like, then oh, they are lonely wrong? and sad and get you're more like, depressed. Oh, what's wrong? They're probably going to kill themselves. Yeah, what about Because bullying? they can't make any friends uh, because they've got no fun all the time. Yeah, Holly kind of went down this same path. I thought I figured it all out. I think this would make <laughs> every... What does pro- it even fix? <laughs> I don't even understand. I think it would make <laughs> everyone <laughs> sad. I think it would make everyone that's sad kill themselves. <laughs> and then the people that are happy would eventually have to become the new sad people. And then... I think this would end world population. What if you had a nine <laughs> above your head and I had an eight and I'd be envious and then I'd drop to a seven? No, then you'd probably work at it. <laughs> no. Because people chase money because like, oh, he's got a lot of fun. He's got, yeah, exactly. He's got, oh, I've got a lot of money. I've, I'm going to chase that number. I love the idea of looking in the mirror like, oh, zero, I need to play a game. Exactly. <laughs> and it's like, oh, no, she's got more likes on her picture. Oh, I'm going to make a picture with lots of likes. <laughs> but instead, what if you were chasing happiness? It's the equivalent of okay. telling a depressed person to be happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just you're exercise. Like, you're just not on that grind. This <laughs> is a, a, this is the equivalent, right? Come on, of a, ten. A, no, but people a, get A billionaire confused. that was born rich yeah. telling a poor person like just work at it every day yeah this is like you telling a depressed person like just have more fun yeah <laughs> i thought it would work i thought people get confused i think maybe if you had an option to not make it public but yeah then, like, yeah okay but then we'll it's like that. why is your fun meter hidden and it's like i'm depressed <laughs> okay what if everyone has a secret fun meter so only you can see your fun yes. meter okay that's much better idea i'm already. liking it i'm liking but, it I don't really. Don't What's we already kind of have that? <laughs> yeah, actually, no, you can't that just tell. Your emotion? You can't tell. You can't tell. I can tell. Sometimes. Okay, here we go. You have a fun meter. Only for one other person in the world can see it, and it's your emergency contact. So if you're not having fun, or like if you're sad, because there's a lot of people Ooh. that do. Yeah, so this like, is getting quite dark, but there's a lot of like depressed people that don't find help in time. Yeah. And it would be good to have one of their closest friends or be family able be see. able to see that. That's, that's exactly. Zach's come up with a better idea in three seconds. <laughs> it was based off. Yeah, it was, yeah. Of, it was based on Jordan's that I believe would solve the world. Yeah, you know, it? we stand on the we oh, shoulder of the giant. Let's have a look at some feedback we've got here. <laughs> <laughs> um, bad idea. Sorry, Jordan. Oh. <laughs> Any I'll be honest, you're going to have to run that, that by me again. Why would that be a good thing? <laughs> <laughs> I can see the idea, but it wouldn't work. I wish Peter was here. It'd be fun to hear him yell at Jordan over the logistics of this. I can think of about four different meters that would make the world a better place. Hunger meter. Yeah. Going back to The Sims. What? 
If I see that Maddie is a two on the hunger, I'll go buy her a pie or something, surprise uh-huh. her. Yep. Bam. What? How, how are you saying? Yep. And then mine was silly. And if I see my own hunger meter, it would be easier to, like, uh, calorie control or eat, like... Don't you have it in your tummy? Because you're getting yeah, into... Yeah, I do, but like... Yeah, you, you know, don't like, have it in your brain? No, but sometimes you get confused where you're like, ah, oh, more money. <laughs> Am I having more <laughs> money? <laughs> what about you if you're trying to put on weight and then it's like, oh, every time I'm a three, I can drink a shake, but I usually don't do that. I'm yeah. usually like off oh, doing something else. It could help. It could help. That's one idea. Very Bladder good. meter. Don't that- know how that helps other people, <laughs> but maybe someone could give you the warning if you're a 9.9. Do you ever have problems with <laughs> you your You are going to wear your pants, sir. <laughs> it, then it pops up. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Exclamation mark. It Lucky goes, it goes to a 10 and then it slowly goes back down to a zero <laughs> as they're like, oh. Possibly we could find out if they have bladder infections. They can't empty their bladder. But oh. I've just been to the toilet. Three. What's going on? Jesus. Doctor, I'm at a three. Oh, yeah, UTI. Yeah, bit of that bit of that gear. Okay, that's pretty good then. This meter stuff could work out. Yeah, so I think we'll... <laughs> Just not for fun. Oh, fun. <laughs> think fun. Let's think of some more meters. What other meter would you have? <laughs> um, I reckon like a sense of humor meter would be a good one. You know when you crack a joke and it's just like clearly nothing? What, so like you say a bad part and it goes zero... No, I would not count bad puns as oh. humorous. <laughs> it's like if I make an actual, like, if I'm just trying to have a bit of banter, yep. if someone's a fucking, like, one, I w- I'll probably just not even talk to them. Oh, so you can see what their sense of humor is. Isn't that yeah. kind of objective? People find different things funny. No, what, yes, what, what if, what if as you're talking to someone, yeah. you say something and you think you're being funny, yeah. but you have an actual <laughs> meter that is how they think like you're funny Like an interest is. meter. Yes. I think an interest meter would be good because I don't want to waste time talking to people that aren't interested in talking to me. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. It'd be a bit hard for me though. I wouldn't be able to compare to just always be a 10. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Are these broken guys? It's all 10s <laughs> around here. <laughs> I guess that would be a bit embarrassing, wouldn't it? What? Like you're telling a story to someone and you see that it's like a two. They yawn and it goes oh, yeah. zero. Or they're very, like, because you fake it sometimes. Someone's saying something. You're like, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a two. No, Wait. I think that's good. Everyone needs to get better at telling anecdotes. You ever heard a story that someone's just told in like the fucking worst way? Yep. And it's like, you might even know the story as well. <laughs> and just like hearing them tell it, it's like, oh, well, you ruined it. Brooke is a notoriously bad storyteller, unfortunately. Oh, oh no. shit. Um, What's, any bad stories? No, I can't remember. Just, I will I can tell the same story in about two sentences and she'll just drag it on. Oh, because oh, she's, no. she's not good at thinking about the story first and then saying it. It's like, all right, here I go. As she's remembering yeah, it. Yeah, whereas for me, I like to, I'm always thinking about how do you construct this in a more interesting way. Well, I feel you like. are a writer. Yeah, I suppose yeah. that's probably what it is. And I'm <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> Same here, but I think also doing like the YouTube and podcast. Yeah. Jobs, as long as we're throwing girlfriends under the bus, I think Maddie could be better as well. <laughs> Jordan? <laughs> oh, Holly's pretty good. I, no, think. Right. Yeah. I think Maddie's main issue is she tries to like speed through it as if like yep. people wouldn't be interested in it. Oh, when it is she like, goes the other way. The opposite. Especially even if she's like struck gold in like a really good story. That's and then she'll just be like, She'll like zoom through it, and I'm like, no, embellish, embellish it. It's the skill, isn't it? If you can tell people are interested, to go slower. If they bit of a read the room, it. yeah, Ooh. which would be easier with your interest meter. It was, was that your oh, idea? Oh yeah, that was my idea. My. All right, what have we got here? So if Brooke and Maddie had a conversation, it would be very one sided, would it? I no, think, it no. doesn't mean that you're bad at having a conversation. It means oh, if no, you I have just like meant time talking. <laughs> like Maddie talks. No, I don't think it's necessarily <laughs> she's if she's through. talking. It's if she's telling a story. Oh, in particular. yeah. It's okay, like, okay. It's specifically that because Maddie's not super talkative in like a big group setting sure um really maybe it's depending on the group actually. yeah maybe i've only ever seen her be talkative not saying she's you're not telling the truth maybe it's more like at my family dinner table yeah sure in which i that is where i'm the least talkative uh-huh. actually that's mm. where i'm very talkative which is it's kind of interesting because around maddie's family i am like incredibly talkative yeah and oh, then wow. around my family, it's just like, oh, I've been there, done that. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, if sure. I don't need to say anything to add something, then... No, like, I won't. But then usually that means every word I say around the family, God. Oh, banger joke that they oh. don't appreciate too. <sighs> it's not worth it. Yeah, sometimes I make some fucking crackers and then it'll no, just be like a light meters chuckle. Low. Their interest meter is low, Zach. You need the interest Wrong meter. Wrong crowd. Yeah. What sort of meters have we got here? <laughs> um, everyone can see the hunger meter, then everyone would bring food all the time. And then it would be normal. Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> Chillo meter. That'd be fun. How chill you are. That'd be <laughs> terrible. A nut o meter. So you know how much time you got left. To what? To nut. What? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that it just like 
Oh caps. wait, I suppose I get a it. wet dream is the if you just don't nut, it's not like occasionally one day it'll just hit ten Trickle and out. come in your pants. <laughs> I think that only happens in your sleep. I myself have never came in everyday life. No, because I've been well, like, accidentally. I've never, yeah, I've never yeah. been in a situation where I'm like, I wish I knew I was oh, about to no. come. <laughs> like you just you just come your pants. Like no. you're in the shopping center and it's like, oh, it has been a month for thirteen ten, days. 10, 10. <laughs> what if you had like a your time? It's like every forty two days, ten hours. It'll like oh, if, you haven't, if you haven't done oh. it, you'll nut. But is it night? Nice? Yeah. You guys ever work. done no nut November? No. Mm, no. Neither. Cool. Should we? <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, it's do people actually do it or is it just a meme? I assume someone's got to do it. Yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't talk I about it. I feel like it's one of those things. It's like a joke, but then some people just take it seriously. I don't know. Yeah. No, I, think so. I've, I swear I've seen YouTube videos on people doing it. Yeah. And that's because it's like oh, for content. Yeah. You don't I mean, want to like see the video people. they upload on December first. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> what is the video? They're like day seventeen of the No Nut November challenge. I can't remember. It's just like oh, I'm <laughs> now I'm not even horny anymore. <laughs> people, something like that. People make up shit like oh, I fucking ascended like to another Maybe it's plane true. of How existence. How do you know? You didn't. You didn't not not it, well, they, just because they want attention and they've gone 15 days without oh, nutting for fewer, no reason and they're like here, oh, gotta, gotta make something up it reminds me a bit of the, the vegans that have to tell everyone kind of vibe you know it's like yeah. you gotta tell people what's going on uh, although maybe not in the same city yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I haven't come <laughs> I haven't come <laughs> and it's like oh would you like the pesto pasta no thanks I'm doing no nut November <laughs> Just haven't came this month, so don't want any pesto <laughs> reminding me of the nuts. <laughs> Those noodles as well, they really get me. Ugh. It reminds me of something, <laughs> sir. Uh, people, uh, what have we got here? I'm sure if you're alone, it's a lot easier. Yeah, that's true. Wait, so does no nut November... No, what? No <laughs> nut November. That also means no sex. I think so, yeah. Oh, wow. Well, that's a nut, is it not? I guess so. It's is it a, nut? <laughs> is it nut? Yeah. That's, that's what it so means. So no sex. I feel like it's... True. Not harder if you're alone, but... <laughs> oh, it's I more of know. a solo journey, whereas if you decide to do no nut November, you're like... No, but like, I feel like I wouldn't have the self-control if I was alone. <laughs> it just but what if you <laughs> what does that mean I could well, that's not nice go answer. 30 days without <laughs> cooming no but chance but you could with someone um I, no I but it's it. like if <laughs> <laughs> if I did no talk your way out of this one if I did no nut November with yep. Maddie yep. then yep. it's like well I obviously wouldn't masturbate because I masturbate less being with Maddie anyway yep. than if I was single yep. and then it's like Maddie would be if Maddie was on board. Yeah. This is like so she'd be like, no, you can't do that. It's no nut November. She's and then I also too, right? wouldn't want to masturbate because that'd just be the worst. Imagine doing no nut November and you're like, honey, I'm not having sex with you all month. She's like, okay, and then you break it by wanking. <laughs> yeah, <and being laughs> yeah, grim. Grim. like I, yeah, there's, I couldn't do that. But if you're like by yourself and it's like day fifteen, you're like, ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> Makes sense. Like, people, someone wrote, people in this chat are outing themselves. Apparently, so is Zach. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, I guess that's where we're at with that. So, to answer your question, I don't think yours is necessarily a good idea. Uh, what was my the question? The cum meter, I think, was... The cum me- no, no, sorry. Was yours mine? Was, no, yours was the fun meter Oh, right, yeah, bring it you back. You know what? Actually, I'm on board with the cum meter because <laughs> it, No, because it would also apply to women. No more faking it. Oh. Oh, do not you that, want that? Not that, not that but I have that problem. Why but would you others, want to know that? What do you mean? If they fake it or not? Ignorance is bliss. Yeah. So you're happily, you will happily not satisfy your lady as long as you don't know about it. I guess. Isn't that so. kind of? Oh, uh, this might be a bit controversial. Isn't that kind of on them at some point? If you're like yeah. not communicating with your partner. Well, if then. it's a long term partner, I think it's different. When yeah, have you're like, right. You're if right. a one night stand fakes it, then it's like different. I agree. I think but if a girl fair. is in like a five year relationship and then she's like faked it every time or a guy <laughs> if a guy tries to fake it that would be tough <laughs> how does that work you gotta keep some milk in your pocket yeah like a bit of mayonnaise you're like oh! <laughs> it's in the dark it's like there's shit everywhere what the fuck you're always like getting it you know turn around and you <laughs> you spit on their back <laughs> And you just cover the noise. I don't know about you, but when I come, it doesn't go. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't no, it, make it that does. noise. It does. You just use you making the <laughs> noise. So you, you can't don't hear know. it. You can't. Otherwise, you would be out of here. 
<laughs> Where do we go so wrong? <laughs> How Peter, long have we been going come for? Back, Peter. <laughs> oh no. Um, Any other topics? <laughs> yeah. Um, what about a know. sicko meter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, go on. Well, I don't want to hang around people if they're at some yeah, eight sure. on the sick meter. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, we probably do need that. A COVID meter. So pain is at a ten. And other types of sickness. It's like, well, I feel fine. Why is my sick meter a nine? Prostate cancer. Oh, it detects all kinds of sickness. Yeah. That would be handy. Yeah. That would be very handy. That's probably the best idea. Guys, yeah. that, probably, that is I feel like I should go medically to the revolutionary. Yeah. Well You're like you're always a zero. You get a one, it's like, oh, it might be very early breast cancer. Yeah. Go get it checked. Could be my runny nose. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. <laughs> Yeah, I think maybe that's you need a few different sick meters. Is that the best meter we've got? Maybe just a cancer meter. I think would be sick meter. You don't really need cancer but meter. Tumor a meter. cancer meter would be very. good I'd like to a catch cold meter early. for other people. You see if they've got a cold. My yeah, own. but I think that's not as useful as cancer just having a big, big cancer. Yes, because then imagine a one on the cancer meter. You go get it cut out. That'd be amazing. That's that is revolutionary. How would you do that? You need to have some look at all your cells all the time. Yeah, none so of these meters are error. actually happening. That it could started happen. with a floating hologram. I think that's most your... likely to happen. That one seems... It, my um, grandma's got this thing on her arm and she puts a little machine to it and it says what her um, diabetes rating is. Oh, wow. Oh, so you can do something like that with cancer. Cancer rating. Beep. Zero. All it would need to do is look at every cell. I rate time. cancer a zero. Same. I don't like it. Jordan? <laughs> Love it. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, you walked into that one, Jordan. <laughs> well, we're mean? talking about cancer rating. Oh, I see. Do you get Do you get checked? No, I feel like I should get checked. I want to get a I Jordan. W- I don't think you need to get checked till you're like forty. Have you just been getting some no, guy to figure your ass just before forty? Isn't um is it testicular cancer that's the most common before you're thirty? Maybe. Oh shit! How how do you te- check for that? Oh, it's lumps on the balls. Lumps, yeah, right? so you got to be checking your testicles. Feel around. Whenever you, next time you come. And you just have a little feel around. <laughs> so right. if there's lumps, you need to go to the doctor. Yeah. And if you're a woman, you should check your breasts. Yes. With that. <laughs> that, might, that might be the podcast. <laughs> How long have we gone? How long has it been? Oh, 45 minutes. Should no. we do a short one today, fellas? Or do we need to go about go on about I don't really have any another... more topics. I won't lie. I don't know if you guys mm. have seen anything. Well, okay. Let's let's quickly go over my Poland got hit. controversial tweet. From... Oh, yeah. Do that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Let me just pick which one we're going to do. <laughs> let's do Zach's one. Let's do Zach's. <laughs> Fuck. Just me saying... <laughs> Me saying, oh, my tweet this week. As Controversial you say, tweet. Poland got. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, what well, your uh, tweet, yeah. Well, you were here, Jordan. Uh, Deadly yeah. spectate. I was, uh, on, I was on the line and I saw it. Yeah. Pop up. One of the Could punishments- you tell it was. A okay, prank. so here's what happened. Uh, friend of the show, Samuel, Sam Glover. Uh, messaged mm. me saying, is Zach engaged? And I said, I have no idea. He said he posted on Twitter and I said, right. And he goes, does look a bit weird. And I said, it does a bit. And I went, and I thought to myself, I was like, I feel like it's worse to say, is this a bit when it's not a bit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you just have to assume and say congratulations. And yes. that's what I did. For those who don't know, there was a tweet. Yes. A ring on Maddie's finger yep. with Ollie. So oh, and the photo was dog shit. On yeah. that Ollie. Is- that's what gave it away. I, uh, the rest of it is like, the situation's not unbelievable necessarily or anything. No. I think that the photo, especially because you are very into photography... <laughs> Mm-hmm. Was very bizarre, <laughs> yeah. and Maddie was wearing a legitimate engagement ring that was passed down from her nana. Right. So the ring looked legit. Yeah. So that part was legit. The caption was "She said yes," which was a very believable thing to post. Yep. Very cool. Can you guess what character I lost to for that? No, I, I, a ring. People were. It's it's kind of funny because it was a bit of a stretch the character punishment, but people were saying like, "Oh, probably Falco because he's a bird because it's a tweet." That's, stuff like that, that and I was like, I, I could do that, but it was Mewtwo because he is a psychic type. They read my mind and posted a tweet for me. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell I couldn't think of anything from Mewtwo? I could probably stretch any character in Smash that to is be a huge like stretch. a tweet. Yeah, I reckon you could. Anyone? Give me, give me a character. Uh, we fit. Um, we fit is blue. <laughs> 
I thought it was Twitter be a, is also blue. I was just about like, we fit this into 140 characters or something like that. That's good, but it's actually 280 characters. Oh, Jackson. sorry, sorry. Oh. I forgot about the update. With Elon Ten Musk, we'll probably have paragraphs by next week. He's doing a few interesting things, old Musky. Should we talk about that? What happened? Well, they like added we talked the $8, about $8 last thing. Week, hey? no, we didn't at all, did we? They took out the $8 thing. That didn't last long. <laughs> yeah, so funny. I mean, the whole thing's just ridiculous, isn't it? So funny. What? What do you guys think about Elon Musk? I don't know what to make I mean, of the whole situation. I about used him. to have a fair bit of respect for him. And over, I feel like the last single year or two years, it's like all nosedived. <laughs> I think it all started with him being Wario in that SNL skit. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> that was where it all went wrong. You realize Elon Musk has zero personality, which should have made sense because he's a billionaire genius. Yeah. And, yeah, he just can't fucking do anything. Uh, you know what was good? Well, this, okay, he can do a few he things. Can't, <laughs> he's not very funny. He's not a good actor. His personality and his sense of humour, if you look at his tweets, his sense of humour is just really shit. Oh, it's, well, it's like just a 12-year-old memes, right? on yeah, Reddit. It, it yeah. reminds me of, like, Nine Gag. Um, yeah. What, did you appreciate, did you see the sync gag? No. Oh, I don't think I did. He, oh, I'm going to get this wrong. He walked into the Twitter office and said, let that sink in. And he was holding a sink. <laughs> what? what do you That's make probably of that? the best. It's, it's so bad that it circles back to being amazing. I think it's hilarious. He got, he was getting a lot of stick for it. I saw people would be like, it's the most cringe thing I've ever seen. No, I think it's, it's pretty so, funny. It's so bad that it's incredible. I mean, <laughs> any bit is funny. <laughs> Bring the sink in. That's great. I'm going to get the photo Have up you to seen you. the video of him laughing at a drowned deer in a pool? <laughs> what? <laughs> it makes no sense out of context. I'm imagining uh, Elon Musk yeah, walk, in, <laughs> walk in, light a match, and say, 200 of you guys are fired on his first day at Twitter. <laughs> what was the actual tweet? I have to get this correct. Because oh. um, he did. He laid oh off a lot of people, God. right? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, know. he did. Entering Twitter HQ, dash, dash. Let that sink in with this photo. That was the tweet. Uh. It's pretty good. Oh, I'm a big fan of it. My question is, why is he walking well, around with a shit. sink? It's for the pretty, bit. It's pretty bad. Like, that's it? Yeah. Surely he didn't buy a sink just for that tweet. Yeah, he did. Yeah. No. Well, I he's reckon got a he fair did. bit of money. I yeah. reckon he could yeah, indulge like, in a sink. Yeah, but what do you do with the sink after you buy it? You must install it somewhere. That's like saying, probably. what are you doing with the cosplay costumes after you buy them? True. They're they probably do. the same relative amount of money to you as the sink is to him. I probably, doubt probably it. Probably less, actually. <laughs> They're way the less. Sink yeah. sink I think one cent purchases for me. A piece of me. dirt on the floor <laughs> in Jack's I take house. that. I redact my statement <laughs> immediately, <laughs> if not sooner. I'm going to... That's it. I'm going to walk in with a handful of dirt next uh, next Underdogs podcast and say, I've got the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> End of the podcast. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for watching. Shit. Patreon time. We're